So I've texturized Yana's hair and we've got a little bit of movement, a little bit of curl in there. Yana has, she's got long hair, but the hair is quite fine. And a lot of the styles that we see, a lot of the styles that are popular this season have, we're working with long hair, but usually the styles are created either with people who have very thick, heavy hair or working with extensions. So I'm going to clip in some extensions into Yana's hair and just show you how you can create some lovely, quick styles when you've got a little bit more hair to play with. So I'm just going to clip the hair away. Now these particular extensions don't have any little clips on them. So it can be a little bit awkward if you haven't worked with extensions that don't have any clips on them before. But don't worry, it's not difficult. And I'm going to show you just how to secure them in. So I'm, I usually find it better to fold the extensions. And I don't fold it so that the ends are at the end. <laughs> I fold it so the ends go into the middle. So then they don't poke out so much. And I'm just going to clip these in. Now you can put a little bit of back combing here if you feel you need to. Better to use my tail comb for back combs. It's quite precise back combing we want here. A little bit of back combing. You could put a bit of texturizing dust here at the root if you felt it was slipping quite a lot. I'm going to push that in, but I think I might be okay with Yana's hair. So we've got a bit of texture in the hair. So the extension has been folded and using the bobby pins, I'm going to just go over the back and you think you'd go horizontal with the bobby pins, but I found it much better if you go vertical and slide the bobby pin down across the hair and making sure you're securing, securing the whole of the extension. The back of the bobby pin needs to slide across the back of the scalp. So if you do two kind of in the middle and then come back and I'll do them at the end. And I think as usual, when I am styling hair on camera, I always end up slightly off center. But when you're creating your styles and when you're putting your extensions in, make sure you stand directly at the back so you know it's right in the middle. And you can get these pretty close together. You know, if you're looking for a style where you want lots of extra length and thickness, then you can pop the extensions pretty close together. Ideally, you will have the hair extensions with clips on because it will be a lot more comfortable for your client, for sure. These are great if you're doing a photo shoot where they don't have to stay in. You don't have the weight of the veil. She's not gonna be dancing around but you know, all night with them in. So if you are working with a client, I would definitely recommend buying the extensions with the clips in them. They're a little bit more expensive, but worth it. If you're working with extensions without clips, if you double up the extensions or triple them, but fold them up in some way, get the ends tucked in so they're not poking out at the sides, so I would fold it into three, kind of like that. So I brought the ends into the middle so the ends can be secured in and you've kind of got a double thickness to secure the bobby pin to. Because if you just do it single thickness, it tends to move around too much. So now we've got our extra hair. Let's do a little quick bun here, I think. So we can try we could separate the hair. I've got a little elastic band here ready and I'm just going to just put a little bit of smoothing spray on here. So it's hard, once you get these buns, it's hard to then go back and smooth the hair because the hair's all going in different directions. So it's better to start off smooth and then we can add texture where we want to. So here we go again, we're going to twist clockwise and cross over anti-clockwise. Doesn't need to be a big twist, but we'll twist clockwise, cross over anti-clockwise. And take that all the way down to the end. Twist clockwise, cross over anti-clockwise. That's it. So it's just a nice little rope twist in the hair. If you've done it properly, you should be able to let go and the twist won't undo. 
it should stay in. So if you haven't managed to get your, do the right action. So if you're twisting clockwise and crossing over clockwise, it will just all unravel. So we do have a tutorial on getting the rope twist exact in the braiding section. So if you're not sure, you can go back and have a look at that. Okay, so I'm going to put a band on the end of there. And then we're just going to create a lovely, soft, textured bun with our rope twist. So I'm just going to get a few bobby pins ready. Jana, could you hold those for me? And then we're just going to use this twist and we're going to create a lovely kind of low bun. So, so you can feel these extensions under here. So I'm just going to take, but you can use those extensions actually. You can get your bobby pins and slide in and underneath the weft that you've already got there. And we're going to just get a little section of hair in the twist and grip. That's it. Lovely. And we can pull this out in a minute a little bit more. And we're going to get a lovely, soft, knotted looking style. So have a little play with the hair as you're creating this style. So if you're not sure how I'm using the bobby pins, have a look in our quick tip section. But I'm using the bobby pins and sliding them underneath my finger. And we're just going to get this really lovely and soft and low. And pull out, get it really soft and gorgeous as we go along. And I think this would be lovely. I might move that band a little bit lower down so we've got a bit more hair to play with. And it's almost like you've put in the twist, but you're pulling the twist out. Mm. And just have a little play at the bottom. That's nice, just like that. Work with our little side sections here. Bring this bit round. You could even do some little twists at the side if you wanted to, maybe. Little braids, a little fishtail braid might look nice coming back. But have a little play around. Work with the side section. Sorry. Is that better? So have a little play around. Position the hair. And of course, you can always come back and curl these little soft bits that are down. Just, it feels a little bit loose here. So what I'm going to do, I'm using one of my strong, straight hairpins, and I'm just going to go into this bit of hair here, and do one of my little up and over, go in, come up, and it's lifting up the bun. I don't know if you can see, it's lifting up the bun just a little bit. And I'm going to go in and behind that weft of hair. And that already feels so much better. So we do want these styles to be soft and relaxed. But for our brides, they definitely need to be secure. So if you need to go back in, if you feel it is just a little bit loose, you can always go back in. Don't be afraid to go in. Find something secure and do your up and over. That's better. Does that feel a bit more secure, Jana? Yeah, yeah, good. And we're just going to work and finish the hair. And we've got a lovely, quick, soft, low bun. But you can see you do need quite a lot of hair to create a bun that's kind of soft and relaxed, but still quite full. Just take this back away from the face just a little bit. I'm holding my tongs vertical and waving, curling the hair back away from Yana's face. That's it. And we'll bring these bits back and just pin them in position here, I think. So remember to fold the hair. You don't just want to put your grip flat across. So although the hair's in the right position, the grip's going to end up visible. So remember to just gently twist the hair, fold the hair a little bit, 
pop that bobby pin in and then you can hide the pin but still have the hair lovely and soft. Always remember that your client kind of knows her own face shape best. She knows whether she'd like more or less hair down. So always kind of be there and be flexible and listen to what your clients have to say. I can tell I've done the style again from one side because it's slightly lopsided, but um, when you're creating your styles, just make sure that you stand at the center at the back. I'm just going to move the position of this one because I think it could do with just being a little bit lower, maybe to here. That's better. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, just click like and subscribe and join me on my next video.